Oleluko earns a salary of um, 14,400 shillings every month. He spends 7,200 um, on food, 4,000 on house rent, and 2,160 on airtime, and saves the rest. A pie chart was drawn to show how he spent his salary. What was the size of the angle that represents the savings? Now, for you to solve this question, the first thing you need to know is um, he spends uh, 7,200 on food, 4,000 on house rent, and dates on airtime and saves the rest. So let's sum up what he spent. So 7,200 plus 4,000 plus um, 2,160 is going to give us 0. This will be 6. This will be 3. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 2 is going to give us... Uh, 13 so this is he spends 13 three, six, zero. so if we want to get his savings it will be 14 400 subtract 13 360 so this is going to give us a uh, zero minus zero is zero 14 minus 36 is going to give us on um, that um okay then here this becomes 3. 10 minus 6 is uh, 4. So 3 minus 3 is 0. 4 minus 3 will give us um, 1. So savings is equal to 1040. So now, for us to now get um, the pie chart, we are going to represent it. Remember, your pie chart, it's a circle. So it's by 360. So this is going to give us um, 1040 divided by the total which is um, which is uh, 14400 times 360 over 1 so all we need to do here it's uh, divide this so 0 we cancel 0 0 we cancel 0 now um 36 can go so uh, okay now 12 here is going to give us um 3 12 here is going to give us a um, 12 3 here is going to give us 1 3 here is going to give us a uh, 4 so we we'll have a um, 104 all over 4 now 4 into 10 is going to give us um that's 2 remainder 2 and 4 into 24 is going to give us um 6 so it's going to be 26 degree final answer 26 degree so we will forge ahead now uh, if this is your first time of coming to this channel don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell to subscribe now the next question says um, the figure below shows an incomplete stack of um, cubes so what we want to do is how many cubes are in the stack so in order to solve this question the first thing we're going to do um let's work with the base first this is going to be one two three four five and six why this is going to be um one two three four five and six so this is going to be six times six 36 so the base is 36 now we're not going to touch the base any longer now let's count within this place from here down to here Okay, so this is our boundary, and also notice this is um, our boundary. Okay, so let's count. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Why well, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and uh, 5. So this will be 5 times 5, and that will give us what? 25. So the final one, let's count here so down to the end which is going to be here will be one two three four and um, five why here will be one two three four five and six so this will be five times six this will give us a 30. so when you sum this up this is going to give you one carry one four plus two six and um, six plus three that will give us nine so the correct answer here it's um nine Okay, so um, having solved that question, now um, Atieno deposited 4,800 in the bank. The bank paid simple interest at a rate of 12% per annum. How much money did she have in the bank at the end of nine months? 
Now, this is simple interest, and the formula for simple interest is PTR over 100. Now, where the time is in years. Now, if you are now given the time at um, 9 months, all you need to do is um, convert um, 9 months into a year. So, 9 months will be what? Uh, this will be 9 over 12, which will give you 3 over 4. So, this will be principal, that's 4,800 multiplied by 3 over 4, which is the time, times the rate, which is 12, all divided by 100. Now, double zero, cancel double zero. So, what we have here is 48 times 3 over 4 times 12. 4 here is 1. 4 into 12 is going to give us... Uh, that's um, 3. So this you have 48 times 3 times 3. So you have um, 48 times 9. 9 times 8 is going to give you 72. So you put your 2 carry 7. 9 times 4 is going to be 36. 36 plus um, 7 will give us um, 43. So our final answer is 432 shillings. So I'll circle my A. So having said that, now, um, our next question says, uh, what is the value of x? Now, for you to solve this in this equation, all you just need to do is expand your bracket. That's uh, 3x plus um, 24. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 8 is 24. The same thing as uh, 4 times x is 4x plus 4 times 4 is 16. So, the next thing you're going to do is to collect like times. This will come over here. And um, this will go over here. And remember, their signs are going to change. So this will be 24 plus 16 coming over will be minus 16. Now, which is equal to 4x minus 3x. So 24 minus 16 is going to give us an 8, which is equal to x. Final answer. So our x here is going to be 8. So the last question for the day says... Uh, which one of the following will form... A triangular prism. Now, from here, this is not your correct answer because this will not form because of the cut. Now, same thing applies to this. The cut is not also complete, so this will not form. This will not form. The correct answer here is um, D. So, go look at diagram for your triangular prism. You'll see that D is the correct answer.